Hi guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along today to review on a Yamaha T-Max 560. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So welcome along guys to review today on a 2021 Yamaha T-Max 560. This is the Tech Max edition. Apologies for any wind, it's really windy up here today. So these are coming in at 12,000 pounds. They've got the 560cc parallel twin Euro 5 double overhead cam engine. Super smooth, loads of extra torque for this year putting out 47 horsepower, A2 compatible at 7,500 RPM. Torque is 55 Newton meters at 5,200 RPM. Tires on these are Bridgestone. You've got a 160 on the rear and a 120 on the front. 15 inch wheels. You've got an 800 millimeter seat height on this. Now don't be fooled by that, it may seem not that high, but it's the widest seat I think I've ever sat on. I'll just put a cutscene in the bike, um, on the video for you, of, of me on the bike. Just bear in mind I'm not that tall at 5 foot 7, 30 inch inside leg. Two hundred and twenty kilos wet. These come in at. You've got a fifteen liter fuel capacity. Just push this button here. Now just turn it on. And there's your fuel filler cap. And also the seat pops up. Very nicely sprung, hinged. You've got a little light in there. Enough room in there for one helmet or quite a bit of shopping or a couple of jackets. These are all operated on the smart key, keyless ignition. Electric screen on these now, so it's a really well specced bike. 135 millimeters of movement on that screen up and down, so it's something that's very handy on a GT scooter like this. You've got cruise control as well, which is really nice. Heated grips and a heated seat. So I know this, this scooter is, is big money, but you really are getting a lot of nice uh, accessories on it. Got traction control and two rider modes. Got LED lights all round with integrated indicators. Got a lightweight aluminium frame giving motorcycle type handling upside down forks, twin discs, four piston calipers, got a belt drive on this which is nice. So this is CVT, continuously variable transmission, no gears, just twist and go, automatic clutch. You've got steering lock there, just press that button and also a very very clever feature to deter thieves is the when it's on the center stand it locks the center stand so it can't be pushed off the center stand very very clever comes in tech camo and power gray all right guys without further ado let's take it for a test ride all right let's see what this is like so it's quite easy to push your leg through, through the gap here. The first thing you notice when you sit on this is it's really tall. Well, not so much tall, but the seat is really wide. So your legs get spread right out. 
Um, I say I'm five foot seven, 30 inch inside leg, and I'm absolutely on tippy toes. So if you're shorter than five foot seven or a shorter leg than me at 30 inches, I don't think this bike would be for you. Um, I don't know what the options are for lowering these. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it is quite a tall bike. If you're five foot ten, six foot, six foot two, absolutely fine. But anything less than five foot seven, um, you might want to look at something a little bit smaller. So keys in my pocket, um, keyless ignition on this. Hit the uh, on button here, fires it up. So you've got T-Max welcome on board. So you've got your clock, your fuel, engine temperature. I'm currently in S mode. You've also got T mode, which is just slightly different throttle responses. Um, you can scroll through on the menu here. Well, that's your screen up and down, heated grips, heated seat, and your info. So go back to screen, because I like to adjust the screen. Air temperature is currently 25. Trip one and two, odometer. You've got all your cruise, um, cruise control, indicators, flashes, menu, engine kill switch, mode button, hazards, and engine on. So, here we go. Very nicely thumbs into life. So you've got that lovely parallel twin, giving that very nice little grumble from behind. It does sound good, this. They've, they've in, in, in improved the sound for this year. So I put the parking brake on here because it's on a hill. So if I take that off now, we're rolling slowly forwards. So away we go. Oh, sheer heaven. Pulling away auto clutch. Very smooth on the clutch take up and extremely smooth on the engine. So I know guys, this is a lot of money. This is probably one of the most expensive scooters money can buy at 12,000 pounds. But boy oh boy, is it um, nice to ride. So here we are, 560cc, lots of torque at low RPM and straight away, wow. It's very quick off the mark. Straight up to 50 miles an hour in just a few seconds. So I've currently got the screen in the mid position. We'll play with that in a minute. Oh my God, this is so smooth. Wow. They've done special things with the engine this year with new balancers, Im improved the torque a little bit, increased the engine size for the Euro 5. Um, yeah, very nice. Okay guys, so away we go. So I'm just gonna put the screen up. That's the screen in its highest position. And it's way above my eye line. So I'm looking right through the screen at five foot seven. So very impressive range of movement on the screen. Now we're gonna put it right the way down. And I'm getting straight away loads of noise on my helmet. You might be able to hear it on the uh, microphone. Put it up about halfway just under my eye line is nice so top marks of the screen very very good for touring okay so the mirrors as always on these sort of bikes they're, they're right out there long way away just looking in them now very clear I can see 20% of mirror is my elbows the rest is a nice clear road ahead so they're good so very windy today so apologies for any wind buffeting so I'm just cruising along now without a care in the world, just under 60 miles an hour and we are turning over at 4,300 RPM. So if you want a nice relaxing engine for long distance touring, this is definitely a maxi scooter to, um, to consider. I did test ride the Forza 750 last week, I'll put a link on that at the end, we'll talk about that later on in the video. But so far guys this is um, really really nice so mirrors are good screens excellent oh the amount of go it's got wow so CVT transmission on this continuously variable transmission no gears just twist and go so we'll just try a brake test out now 60 mile an hour full front brakes only Wow, right down to zero, yeah, so just a few seconds from 60 to zero, 
Right, while we're here at low speed, we'll just check it for any fueling issues. Snatchy throttle, all that kind of nasty stuff that people don't like. Oh, we're here at 30 mile an hour now. Three and a half thousand revs. Very, very smooth. No hunting or surging in the throttle. I've just put the cruise control on at 30. Just say you were going through some, you know, village in Germany or cruising through a town in the States or whatever. Very smooth. No hunting or surging. Perfect fueling. So that's great. So here we go. We're 30 mile an hour now. Wide open throttle. There's your 40, 50, 60. Wow. That is stunningly quick. I see I rode the 530 T-Max last year. And this just feels that little bit quicker. And it, even though the, it's, you know, coming in at 200 and whatever kilos, I can't remember now, it feels very, very nimble around the bends here. Very sporty handling. I see what they mean by motorbike handling. Wow. That's fun, really good fun. So just try a bit of back brake now. 60 miles an hour. Yeah, back brake's good as well. So the riding position guys, nice and upright. Very nice comfortable bars, nice shoulder width apart. I've currently got my feet stretched right out in front of me. And for me at 5'7", feels lovely. If you were six foot plus, you'd still be fine with it. Very, very wide, plush seat on this. This is definitely a, a GT scooter, Grand Tourer, and then some. Makes a fantastic kind of growling noise from the engine at the rear. But doesn't it go? Top speed on this will be well over 100 miles an hour. I'm guessing 115 mile an hour, something in that region. Suspension feels very nice indeed. Set up just about right for sporty handling in the corners, but not too harsh for the bumps. So I've already ridden this for about an hour and a half now, and no number very comfortable easily all day comfort riding this cool those brakes are very strong very very quick on the mark so there's 30 40 50 and there's your 60 so it gives you an idea of how quick it is off the mark very impressive indeed feels more powerful than 47 horsepower I suppose it's because of the, the low end torque on it. So very nice dashboard. I love the uh, the blue surround ring on the speedo and the rev counter. Very clear to read, even though it's ne needles and not um, LCD display, digital display. It's all very clear and nice to read. Clock, all the fuel, engine temperature in the central LCD there is very nice. So far guys this is great okay so as i said i rode the forza 750 last week and a lot of people are going to be wondering how this compares to that well things that just quickly spring to mind this is two thousand pounds more money but for your two thousand pound more money you're getting the electric screen you're getting the cruise control the heated grips and the heated seat so think of that and decide of that what you will i think it's um, a lot of money but you are getting absolutely every toy you could possibly want the cruise control for me on a bike like this personally is essential i just love cruise control i mean we're doing 60 mile an hour now we'll just set it hands free 60 miles an hour just under 5000 rpm so we're just going down a, on the straight now that was a bit of a hill then so for revs we're just over 60 four and a half thousand revs now just take it a little bit higher a bit more higher cruising 
there we go it's just under 5,000 rpm so just slightly higher speed so a very very nice relaxing engine not quite as relaxing as the Forza 750 that was turning over like a mere 4,000 rpm but this is still 90% as good as the Forza for, for cruising power wise doesn't feel a lot of difference to be honest um, I think the Forza had 56 horsepower this has got 47 but this is lighter Forza's got the, uh, the you know the automatic DCT 6 speed this is just a seamless CVT transmission this feels a little bit lighter than the Forza because obviously it is but a little bit sportier in the corners I would say but all in all they're both great bikes you know um, I I'd, I'd give them five stars each this is more money but then you get the screen the heated grips the heated seat and the cruise control so if that's worth two thousand pounds to you then you know that's fair enough but anyway that's the fours in my opinion Yamaha also make you know the X Max 300 which is very quick for a 300 see my review on that as well but anyway back to this one you know I think if you want one of the best maxi scooters on the market uh, you definitely need to be looking at one of these it is utter joy to ride I must admit comfortable plush fast really nice adjustable screen I like that a lot let's just have a look we're currently doing fuel average is 55 to a gallon showing at the moment so guys we're doing 30 at the moment just try the wind on roll on again full throttle 40 50 60 and it goes on and on very very impressively fast this So the brakes are strong, handling is like a motorcycle, so you've got lots of good fun around the corners. It's got nice belt drive at the rear, which is nice, no fiddling with chain lube. You've got 24,000 mile valve clearance on these, and I believe the oil change on these with, with Yamaha is 6,000 miles. Yeah, but just for, for comfort guys honestly this seat is something to behold it really is feet stretch right out in front very relaxing engine with loads of go yeah highly recommended guys okay guys so just to summarize this amazing maxi scooter extremely comfortable lovely big wide plush seat but do bear that in mind with the seat height lovely uh, adjustable electric screen heated seat heated grips beautiful riding position it is a lot of money twelve thousand pounds but you know it is one of the best on the market this bike smoothness of engine so we're currently at five thousand rpm and there is no vibrations at all I can't feel anything through the footboards or the foot pegs so Yamaha have done a great job of making this really smooth if you wanted to do touring on this long distances two three hundred miles a day I would say it's absolutely no problem whatsoever you fit it with a nice big top box you've got your under seat storage away you go All the controls are very tactile, cruise control is easy to use, mirrors are good, it's got stacks of power, very impressively fast. So we've got quite a bit of bumps here, and that's taking it up really nicely, no issues at all. Brakes are very strong. All right, we'll just wrap it up here, guys. What well, a lovely view again. All right, so I'll just get you to have a little look at that dash again. Hope you can see all that. 
really nice. I do love these dials and the uh, sort of one colour TFT in the middle there is nice, very easy to read. So I can't really rev it too much because I'm going to go shooting forwards, but but it does sound good, trust me, when you gun it. So turn it off here, and if you turn that like that, it does put the steering lock on. Side stand's easy to find, that's good. See what she's like to push around. So nice grab rails here. Yeah, that's very easy to push around. For quite a big scooter, quite a lot of weight there, that's not too bad at all. Let's try the centre stand, shall we? Very, very easy. Centre stands, a doddle, that's great. Right, what else have we got here? So you've got all your cruise control, your parking brake, which is nice. Over here, you've got another little cubby hole with a 12 volt in there, cigarette lighter socket. It's quite nice and deep, so lots of storage in there. Lots of storage under the seat. There you go, guys. Yamaha T Max 560. What are your thoughts on this? So please post some comments down below guys. If you've got one of these, if you're thinking of getting one, maybe you've got the older 530 or even the 500, you might have an X-Max 300. What are your thoughts on maxi scooters in general? I mean, they're, they're big business in Europe, but they don't seem to have caught off quite so much here in the UK. Don't know why, um, but I think personally they're brilliant. Um, especially this is an amazing one really good so guys um, catch you all again soon please like share and subscribe give me a thumbs up and catch you all again in a week or so for another video review bye safe guys all the best bye bye